Okay, so in this little lesson, what we're going to do is we're going to apply a glass texture to our wine glass. Coming on from the previous tutorial, we've got, if we scroll out, ah, let's turn my IPR off so it doesn't update. We've got this little area light by here, um, exposure 14, samples 2, and we've got this sky dome light where we've applied our HDRI map to. Okay, so that's the lighting that we've got going on, and that's kind of what's happening here on these chrome sort of materials here. So if I give it a quick render, you'll see where we are from last lesson. So what we want to do is we want to look at this wine glass now. Now, first of all, what I'm going to get you to do before we apply an actual um, material, Click your wine glass and then you'll have something like wine glass shape or it may say geo, but just look for this little drop down and just go into Arnold. So again, just object mode. So click off or, or click onto this wine glass shape or geo or whatever. Come down into the Arnold tab and just go to opaque. It's not the end of the world if you can't find that, by the way, um, but that, that's just useful. Now it's got a Lambert one on at the moment. So if we go to material attributes, it's saying I've got a lamp gray Lambert on me. That's not what we want. Right click it and go to assign new material and I'm going to go to Arnold and AI standard surface. Let's now turn our IPR on because we'll see this update. So IPR, there you go. We got that new shiny material on it. So you can go to presets, uh, where is it? Glass and replace. Now you can do that, but I'm going to show you how to do it properly. Now we don't want a base color on there or a diffuse color. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to zero both of these out. And this is what we've got. Specular, you know, your reflections. We do want reflections. So one and keeping the color to white. Yeah, I'm fine with that. Now glass is see-through and that's because glass refracts light and refraction is your transmission. So what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to turn my weight or my amount of transmission up and let's see what we get and just let it preview in. It's going to take a while because um, I'm screen recording at the same time. Um, that's taking a while. Now your roughness, what we're going to do first of all in your specular, turn your roughness down to zero. Okay. And let's also angle this a little bit more so we can see this HDRI through it. Okay, so let's turn our weight up. So that's basically what we're seeing is we're seeing the table and the HDRI in the background through, let's angle this again, through this wine glass. And you can see it's being refracted and sort of bent around there. Now your roughness, if I turn this up to 0.1, what you'll see is almost like a, it gives you a little bit of a sort of frosted glass effect because not all glass is perfectly see-through. So for your roughness, um, what I'm probably going to do is I'm probably in the specular roughness. I'm probably going to put mine to 0 0.05. So let's just let this update. Um, it's taking a long time to render. There we go. Now it is still a bit noisy. That's something to do with the render settings. So don't worry about that. I'm going to be going into render settings in a, few, in a future video in this series. But I'm going to update my specular to about 0.05. Five. So it's just got a touch of um, a touch of roughness in there. Okay, and again, you wait for that to render through. Now it's still a little bit noisy, but we're seeing the table getting refracted and stuff like that. Okay, um, and again, you can turn the weight up, and it's just how see-through it is and how bright that actual refraction is. That's I mean that's going to be too bright for me. Um, but anyway, um, what we can do that's how you kind of set it up. Um, your base colors will just be none. Your specular, I'll give it a little bit of roughness, but these are your highlights. And your index of refraction, that should be 1.52, because that is the way, the amount which glass kind of refract, refracts light. So if you want to go for something, you know, completely wacky, you can kind of like turn this up and it'll bend it more and bend it less. So if I turn it down, it kind of, whoa, that's mental. <laughs> um, so that's the angle, think of it, angle of refraction. But 1.52 is what you'll want to stick with um, to get you know, the most realistic kind of look. Um, and yeah, your transmission down here. So now you can turn the weight down because it's quite bright at the moment. Um, let's go to presets and just go to glass and replace and just see how different it is. I think the only difference there is your transmission is all the way up to one and I would just bring that down to like 0.6. 
And there we go. So that is our glass texture kind of like applied. And it's gonna look a loads better when we've actually got a nice table text, wood texture on this table. So let's kind of just come here. We've got our now knife and fork and our glass um, sort of ref refracting and everything. And like I said, it's gonna start looking nicer now when we've actually got a texture on this table for it to kind of um, work with. So that's, you know, how you apply your glass texture. Mine's working this way because I've got this um, HDRI in background in the Sky Dome. So if you didn't do that in the previous lesson, make sure you go back and do that. Um, but yeah, in the next lesson now, we're going to move on to UVing and texturing the table. And then we're going to look at UVing and texturing the plate. Then we'll move on to some final sort of lighting and some final render settings and we'll be done. So yeah, cheers for tuning in and I'll see you in the next video.